Hey guys, it's Sean from Lapavoni Mac here again. Uh, I'm going to be um, today showing you how to uh, basically fix an engine that hasn't run in a number of years. This one hasn't run in 10 years. And um, I've just done a lot of different things to it. I've replaced all the gaskets, but one thing, I can't believe I was so stupid to do this. I didn't even think about cleaning out the carburetor. So today I'm going to show you basically how to clean out the carburetor. That's all we're going to do. This is a, if you can find the, I can't remember where the model number is on this, it's somewhere around here. I've looked at it before, usually the numbers are like right here, or something. I've looked at them before, I can't find them now, so I'm not sure where the numbers are. Oh, here they are, back there. This is... Uh... 79. This engine is a 79. I was thinking it was like an 84, but, um... So I thought that this didn't have points and condensers, but it does. This was before electronic ignition, which they brought out in 82 or 83, something like that. So, um... That doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing today. So we're gonna. T I'm gonna take this carb off the engine and uh, disconnect it. Uh, I'll keep the gas tank on. Disconnect everything and then put it over on the workbench, and we'll get to the cleaning. Okay. Now, finally, after some quite extensive um, getting these screws off, these two screws here, out from those two bolts there on the intake gasket, or for the fuel, where the fuel goes in. Um, yeah. The, the, they put this in such a hard spot because where it hits on the carb, it hits like right here, so you can't get anything in here unless you like take the gas tank off first, which I kind of wanted to keep the whole thing intact. So, anyway, there's your air breather assembly right here, and some governor throttle linkage down here. And this is, I have no idea, this is for something on the connects to the governor linkage too, but you gotta take that off first, so. Okay, anyway, so, I'm gonna leave that for now. That's done. That's a new gasket, by the way. I put that on. Um, so now we're gonna go over here to the port bench. Right here. And what you're gonna do is you have your carb here. You are um, going to see a couple of screws right here. You're going to want to take these off. There's like, uh, I don't know, one, two, three. Looks like there's just three of them. Three screws right on top of here. Right there. And you're going to want to take all those off. Okay, now, once you have uh, your carb apart, um, or the, these three screws off of there. Just gonna want to go ahead and lift this out. If yours won't come off, take a screwdriver right here and try to pry it away. Try not to rip the seal unless you want to replace the gasket, but I've already replaced the one on this one. Um, and just hit the end with a hammer a little bit. And it should pop right off. I got thread out through those holes. Okay, now this is where we're going to be doing our main work, so you just want to go ahead and set this down. Now, when you have this uh, gas can right here, this is almost all full of gas, I think. You might be able to see. There is definitely crud in it, and there's definitely some water in there. This is old gas. We're going to dump this out. Okay, now that you have um, all the gas, drain gas drained out of this, you're going to want to just kind of clean off the surface here first. Don't worry if you get a little bit of dirt in those compartments because there's probably dirt in them already. I, c I can tell there's already crap in this one, and you're just going to clean that out later anyway. Go ahead and take a shop rag, just kind of clean off the top all this dirt around the edge of where the cap was. Clean off any other dirt on the 
gas tanks, you can just kind of get a nice clean surface to work with. All the gas that hasn't evaporated from it yet. Okay, now, we're going to get to this part later. Actually, we're going to get to that part now. I'm going to go get some carb cleaner over here. And you're going to take this carb cleaner, put the little nozzle on it, and you're going, this little straw thing, deal, put that right in that, in the hole. You can probably figure that out though. And you're going to take your carb cleaner and spray it in these holes here. Spray it, spray a little bit in the tank. Now you're going to want to let that sit for half an hour to an hour. So I'm going to let this sit outside. Uh, look at the top of your carb here. This, this needs to be really clean. If, you, if there are some parts that you can't get clean on it, what you're going to do, it's, it's a good idea anyway. Spray some carb cleaner on it. Just let that kind of sit for a minute. What you really want to get clean is the reservoirs inside your gas tank. But this is just going to eat away. I can already see it's starting to eat away all this stuff. It's just kind of cling on to this carb. Now, uh, after we do this, you're going to want to um, spray uh, some carb cleaner inside these screens. I'm, I'm going to wipe away this uh, carb cleaner that just cleaned the top of this now. And the other thing that we're going to do after this is we're going to check the uh, we're going to check the jet and the needle on the carb. Now I found my jet. You want to check and make sure you can see light through that. And I'll show it to you so you can actually get some light through it to see that it's clean. See how there's light coming through it? That means it's clean. What you want to do anyway, take something small, just kind of clean it out. It did smell pretty bad in the little hole there too, um, like old varnish. And then you're going to clean off your needle too. What you want to do, take something small or just spray some carb cleaner in here. Spray it in the hole. Okay. There. Now, that'll just basically get any debris that was in there out of there. Which is what you want. Now, what you want to do is spray a little bit of carb cleaner in the hole where your jet and your um, needle go. Make sure there's no crap in there. Kind of get everything good to go.